A question we often get is, what do you do with all the time that you have? Um, well, living on a boat is different than living in a house. We have long sailing days, um, we have maintenance if we have problems with our boat, we have um, uh, we edit vlogs of course, it uh, consumes a lot of time. We meet new people and um, a lot of time is consumed by researching about the sailing in the next place we're going to, uh, maintenance of the boat and also moving anchorages. Like for example in this vlog uh, we had to move anchorage a lot of time because there were uh, a lot of storms passing, thunder weather, rain and the anchorages were not very protected. So. That cost a lot of time as well. Yeah, we mostly highlight the, 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 nice, the nice and enjoyable things, which is logic, of course. But there, there is also the other side of working and getting things done. But, um, so don't worry, we, we keep ourselves busy. That's, that's very sure. And we want to get some more interaction again with you. So ask any question you want under this video or in a personal message and we will come back to it. And enjoy this new video of Cyprus. We left uh, Turkey uh, up to Cyprus and um, right now the sun is setting, it's really beautiful. The wind is good and uh, the vibe is good and yeah, it's just a, uh, it seems to be a nice trip. Do you enjoy it too, bro? Totally, I like it. Yeah. We did some uh, surfing on the deck before, it was very funny. <laughs> I was listening to some offspring and dancing on the deck. <laughs> It's quite a trip. <laughs> <laughs> so, and how do you enjoy this trip? Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Just to be in a place where we don't see the land anymore, just see the sea all around us. I love it. So, looking forward to Cyprus. But uh, we will only be there in maybe 25 hours, I guess. The wind is pretty nice and uh, constant. And uh, the waves are uh, okay, we have a stable course and uh, I don't know, I just really enjoy it. It's a, it's a long trip on the sea, nice people on board and uh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm gonna have a look how the soup is doing inside. We had quite a good night, um, the wind is coming from the back and uh, the sails are, sails are all the time banging so it's not really nice for sleeping but we are really happy that we don't need to use the engine. What's happening here? Uh, we do some uh, rope splicing. Ready for a second one? So it's almost the end of our trip. They are uh, letting down the sails and uh, we hope to find a quiet spot in the bay. But uh, that's still, uh, still a surprise. It took a long time. We thought we would arrive around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but now it's like 8 or 9. Cheers! Cheers. On. Cyprus. Cheers on Cyprus. <laughs> we are sailing to Paphos to uh, visit some, some places, some uh, historical sites of course with our historian. But uh, we see here in the middle of the sea a little island with a, uh, a cargo ship that is uh, wrecked. 
So uh, we would like to visit it and uh, we don't know if it's possible to get in but it looks very, uh, I don't know. The waves are crashing into it so I'm not yeah. sure if we can really uh, get close with the dinghy. I see something wet, it's a I bit rough. Okay, do we go there with the dinghy or swimming? Okay, let's go. The waves are very, pretty high here. I don't think we can enter this uh, thing, eh? It's really big. But there is a hole. So maybe we can go. <laughs> Careful because it's very uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. man look at but this. But it's very um just on the edge like this. Go down with the rope. Uh, on the outside. <laughs> I think this will be strong enough. Nice There's less people. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, there is another uh, like basket. Smells like shit. Uh, here, so I think it's solid enough. So how do you feel? Ah. Being the inside of this. It's a bit uh, dangerous. You don't know. Iron monster. It is. It is. Uh, it used to be strong, but you cannot trust on it anymore. So. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit tricky. There was a Greek flag over there. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it was probably a Greek boat. It's nice to go and check the, the captain's uh, cockpit. Yeah, you can go around. The victim of this journey. Are you all right? Yeah, <laughs> no worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it holds you, then it holds us. Maybe use it. Maybe first sand it a little. <laughs> yeah. Give it some uh, galvanized. There you go. Just hold the rail. <laughs> Man, this ship must have been here for for years and years. Did you find? The Mavic Pro battery, exactly the same from for his drone. But it's uh, someone left it here. Or but it's um, oh, exploded. Ah, oh, there's a whole Mavic. Huh? Oh, it's crashed it's here. Gone. I think it fell. No. And there's the SD card. That would be fun to. Yeah, there is an SD card. Then we can see the footage when it still works. Can take it yeah mm -hmm. and there's even a, a filter here a nice ND filter so maybe this filter still works yeah, did you film this yeah yeah I'm filming Good. look at the boat there's big piles with pool here eh? look at this it's just walking on pool a lot of birds have been been sitting here for ages Whoa. There was one. Wow. Man. Do you know where Jessica is? Where? Jessica is? No, she was outside. Jessica? Ah, oh, there you are. 
uh, ship is an attraction. They should ask money to enter. The others left on the other side, but they told me that I can better leave here because of uh, the sea eagles. I don't have shoes. Uh, not this moment. Let's see. There are waves coming. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I can go now. I'm out. Well, that was a crazy experience. Look at this. I think this is a sea eagle. They are really, really hurt. But they are black, so can, I can identify them quite good. So, Thank you for the nice experience. We tried to pull it out, but it was just a battery. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Yes. What was the warm water from the shoe? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, as long as it's no feet, then it's so good. <laughs> this is also kind of history, right? Yeah, exactly. We have to check a little bit about this boat. We are in Limassol, Cyprus. We are in the harbor. Actually, we had some engine problems again. Our uh, fuel pump was leaking. And we met Amy. Uh, she works for Youth for Christ. And um, we had her contact details from someone we met in Tunisia. They have a cafe uh, run by youth, uh, uh, for youth from Cyprus. Uh, uh, youth for Christ. Eh? Long story short, I'm going inside to introduce you to Amy. Hello. <laughs> so, this is Amy. So, can you shortly introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, I'm Amy and I'm an American living in Cyprus and I work for Youth for Christ. Um, my full-time job is running a youth cafe. Um, so, I teach teenagers how to be baristas and then I let teenagers come in as customers and we try to uh, create a positive environment for them to hang out on the weekends. So, cool. that's what I do. And we arranged to have a look at this youth cafe. There you go. Let's see. The menu. We're looking at the menu. And, uh, what are you going to do? I think I'm going go for a lemonade. Lemonade? Yeah. Okay. I think I choose the American. I have uh, one for water, water. one uh, lemonade, and one Americano. Get down so we don't forget. One lemonade. John 3 verse 16. John 3 16? Yeah. Yeah? The verse? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. What, what's in there? We're not to love the world to give us only the God's son. We believe the history of parents have everlasting life. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> So our cafe started four years ago. Uh, we're actually entering into our fifth season. And it started because our, our high school students were looking for something that they could do on the weekends and looking for a place they could belong. We're open two nights a week and we actually have a full espresso bar now. As our teenagers were starting to develop the idea, we started to talk about what kind of atmosphere we wanted to create. Uh, and we asked them to develop a motto. So our motto became, be yourself, you are loved. And that has been the heartbeat of the cafe since day one. And we use that through you know, customer service and treating them with kindness and respect. Uh, we do that with relational ministry, with adult volunteers that are here on the weekends uh, who just sit down the table and play card games and have deep conversations about uh, you know, life and struggles and God and anything that might come up. Um, and we just aim to be a place where we let teenagers ask questions. Uh, we want them to understand that we are here to support them in discovering answers. And for me personally, I also have a, a bigger dream to see how can we expand this ministry to the other side of the island. Um, Cyprus is divided, so I don't know how exactly it looks like, but that's one of my dreams that I'm personally pursuing by building connections with churches in, in the north side of how can we start doing youth ministry um, that can bridge the gap um, for the adolescent generation um, so that Cypriots in the north and the south can build relationships um, and even find forgiveness for each other through the forgiveness of Christ. So that was the story of Amy and After Hours and she shortly mentioned about the problems that Cyprus has. Um, the northern Turkish part and the southern Greek part um, uh, don't uh, line up with each other, they hate each other in fact. 
and the border is even controlled by the United Nations. So if you want to know more about it, Google. But in short, that's the, the story. Yeah. And uh, next time we are going to Israel and there is even a more complicated political situation but uh, also a very beautiful and interesting place to visit. Yes. So. If you have any question about Israel or want to be involved in the story of next time, let us know under the video or in a personal message. See you next time! <laughs>